dear YouTube followers. Today, we're shooting our video in Kayseri, Kocasinan region. This beautiful farm named Arif Mulu Farm belongs to a really dear friend, Oluş. And all the products today we've used are from their farm. The milk, the maple syrup, everything. And today, together we're going to make a Boston brown sticks which belongs to the New England region in the United States of America, which was my thesis when I was in university. It is so practical and so easy to make it. Now, I'm going to tell you what ingredients we used in Boston Brown Sticks. We have 200 grams of wheat flour. We have 100 grams of wholemeal flour. 100 grams of sultanas. 100 grams of walnuts, a teaspoon, which is 5 grams of salt, a pack of baking powder, which is 10 grams, 200 grams, about milliliters of milk, which is the cow's milk from the farm, and we have beautiful maple syrup, which is 50 grams. Now, we're going to mix all the ingredients together and make a nice dough. First, I put all my dry ingredients, the wheat flour, then the wholemeal flour, teaspoon, five grams of table salt, a packet of baking powder, which as we said, it's about 10 grams. And we're going to start mixing it by adding the milk and 50 grams of maple syrup. Look at this beautiful golden color. And pour it in. Scrape down all of it. And the end, we're going to add the sultanas And I'm going to chop these walnuts in the small size by hand. You can alternatively chop them with a knife. As you can see, it's so practical and easy to use. There is no sugar in it. We use maple syrup to flavor. Also, we don't have any butter or margarine, no fat in it whatsoever. So it's a very healthy option. And I'm going to mix them all and turn it into a nice dough. It will be a sticky texture. The milk and the maple syrup is the holding agent. I'm going to pour it on the surface and knead it there. For all dough products, also for the bread, the wood surface is the best. itself so easy and quickly as you can see it's a nice firm but elastic our dough is ready now I'm going to portion it into pieces like the shape of a slightly big walnut and then I'm going to roll them and place it on a grease tray. You can consume these wherever or whenever you like. Just a side order. 
it goes like a nice bread. Actually, instead of portioning it, you can use this dough and shape it into a one big whole loaf. You can either slice it on top with a knife and decorate it. Could be served like a bread. If you don't like walnuts or raisins, you can also use as a filling apricots and almonds. Or just don't put anything. Now they're ready. I'm going to clean up my surface and get the grease tray. Please do grease your trays with either butter or margarine. Now, I'm going to show you how we shape them. It's going to be nice, thick sticks. It's a little elastic and firm, so you can squeeze it in your hands and shape it this size and place it on a tray. I'm gonna show one more. Our Boston brown sticks are ready now. We've shaped them, placed it on a grease tray. Now they're going into the preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 18 to 20 minutes. It's about 20 minutes now and our Boston brown sticks are ready. Now I'm going to take them out the oven and serve them immediately. I hope you'll enjoy these delicious sticks. All the ingredients are from this beautiful farm. And the recipe is on page 31 on the book Mervilicious, 40 recipes made with love. Please do share your ideas with us. Enjoy it.